Hi, Terry Begg here. Thanks for joining me on this first video. If you're getting this, you probably have already been to my uh, landing page, terrybegg.com. If not, uh, go there and enter in your name and email address and download my ebook, How to Be In Demand. That's what these videos are going to be about from here on out, How to Be In Demand. I'm going to offer little tips and strategies to help you improve your business. These are mostly geared for people who own their own business, contractors, people in the trade or service businesses, or if you want to own a service business one day, these are for you. Okay, I'm going to share a, a little story right At first, I just want to tell you for a minute a little bit about myself. If you've already gotten my book, you know some. I'm just going to give you the Reader's Digest version. I've been crushing it in my painting business for the last 25 years. And the only problem with that is I've been in business 35 years. The first 10 years were really, really tough. I struggled. And I want you to know that because if you're out there and you're struggling, I want you to know there is hope. When I started my business, I had no help, no money, no tools, no connections, no support no equipment. I didn't have anything but a burning desire to be successful and I figured it out. And if I can do it, I know you can too. I mean, I was a week away probably from, uh, from uh, uh, being bankrupt and it was really, really a tough time. And I want you to know, I turned it all around, struggled really bad for about 10 years and thinking maybe I just need to get better in my business and get, you know, learn the technical skills better no matter how good I got. And I became a pretty good painter, but nothing changed in my life. And then I thought, maybe I'm just not working hard enough. And I'm married at this time, and, and I'm, I feel terrible because I'm pulling my wife down with me. And I said, well, I'll just work harder. You know, I told her I'm going to go to work longer and, and more days. I strung together like 82 straight days without a day off. Yep, I counted. And uh, nothing changed in my life. I, it didn't matter what I, how well I understood my business, how well I knew my numbers. Nothing changed until 1988. It had been 10 years and I learned to understand what it was that my customers want. That was the big change that I made. Once, once I knew what my customers were looking for, and it wasn't necessarily painting services, although that was what I was selling. It wasn't what they were buying. I learned how to connect with my customers, how to make the, the relationship, take it a little bit deeper. And that's what turned my business around. In 1988, I quadrupled my income. And to say I did it in 1988, it kind of sounds like it took me a year. Not so. We're just exterior only painters. And uh, I did it in eight months. Took the winter off, watched my son come into this world. That was my inspiration to, to uh, step it up and motivated me to learn to figure out what it took to be successful. And I came out that next summer in 1989 and I doubled my income again. And life has been awesome ever since. I want you to be able to to, to share this feeling. It's so nice uh, to be able to do the things I want to do. It's winter time right now and I only work summers. I'm very, very niched in my business. The reason that is is because I can pick and choose only the jobs I want. The jobs that pay the best for me are exterior where we're spraying. We only do certain types of siding and homes. And uh, that's what it means to be in demand, though. And uh, you can pick and choose just the jobs you want. I want you to have that, too. It, it, it wasn't that tough once I made that mental shift. Just this morning, I, uh, I got a call from a friend, a guy I had been working, a friend. They're all, all my customers are my friends. But it was a guy who had hired me a few times before, and he says, I got a rental property, Terry. Would you come out real quick? I need to get it, a wallpaper stripped off of two rooms and a kitchen and, uh, and get those rooms painted, and I'm in a hurry. And I said, sure, I'll run out uh, this morning. Just this morning I went out there, and I said, I know you're in a hurry. Let me figure a price for you real quick. He said, it doesn't matter what your price is. I want you to just do the work. And I said, really? <laughs> but, but, but my point is the reason I'm telling you, I gave him a price right then, and of course he hired me right then. I'm going to do it next week. But my point is that's what, it, that's what it's like to be in demand. People, if people are hiring you before you even tell them a price, then maybe you don't need this. Maybe you're already in demand. But when you are in demand, people will pay your price. They'll use you over and over. They'll refer you to their, to your friend, to their friends. And they'll, they'll create your business. I haven't run any ads now in almost two years. And just this year, I increased my business 22% with no advertising. And uh, if maybe you've read my articles or you've heard my podcast or my blogs, I'm going to start putting a blog out every day. I'm going to try to keep it full of fresh new content. And uh, let's stay in touch. I'm going to keep sending you videos. I'm going to try and keep them pretty short and to the point. Two reasons for that. One, I'm ADD. I can't remember. I'll forget half the stuff I want to say to you. So I'm going to keep it directly, you know, just direct it right at you and just make one point each time. There are going to be a lot of little quick ones. This might be the longest one I send you. I don't know. The second reason 
is um, we're all busy. I don't, you know, I'm not going to put a lot of time in this. I'm not going to write a script. I'm just going to get in front of the camera and wing it and uh, hopefully give you the best content that I possibly can. We're going to talk about things that are basically related to selling, but they're not really selling. If, if you're anything like me, you probably hate selling. I hated it when I started my business. It just seemed, seemed manipulative to me. And, uh, and I created a system. I developed a system built on based on four abilities, and those are the things we're going to talk about. Basically, what it is is I just, instead of selling my customers, I take away all the reasons for them to not buy from me. Go to my website at begpainting.com, and you'll see some of my testimonials, what, some, what my customers think of me. And, uh, and it's not that hard to do. I'm going to help you to create that. We're going to talk about overcoming objections on a sales call, having a call to action, overcome, you know, creating a closing question to ask for the sale, things like that that they might sound salesy, but they're not. We're just going to take away the, all the reasons for them to not buy from you. So uh, I probably have run my mouth long enough now. And uh, here I'm in my office right now. I'm going to start just turning on my camera at different parts of the house, setting up my little tripod, and just try to give you some great content. Uh, every couple days, I'll do my best to keep sending these out to you. If you have, if you want to send me an email, connect with me at terry at terrybeg.com. Send me an email. Let me know what you think about the book, about these videos, about my podcast. Anything I can. If there's anything you want to hear, uh, let me know. I'd love to hear your story and stay in touch. So that's all for now, and I will uh, see you on the next video. Have an awesome day.